it's time hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine rosette in case you are new here and this video i am not sponsored by hellofresh but i am documenting my first food subscription with you guys i decided to order for a two-person family and three meals so that is six meals in total because i am only one person i'm not two people and they didn't have an option for one person but as you just saw i got my hellofresh delivery it came today around like 4 15 and it is it is dinner time it is six o'clock um a little past dinner time actually and i am going to let's wait to document how i get on with hellofresh and what i think of it and if it's really easy to use if the food is actually good and if it caters to my dairy free lactose intolerant needs so when i say dairy free i don't mean like i'm free from all dairy it's mainly just cow dairy can't do the milk you know what i'm saying or the butter so yeah let's get into these um recipes for the week chose three meals um, this is the first one it's the buttered up steak as you can see which looks delicious and then we have the maple and rosemary pork cutlets and then we have the Korean beef bimbap which I'm really excited for and I think I might make this one tonight. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the Korean beef and bop. So I'm gonna find a little bag. So this one is the maple cutlets. We have the Korean beef and bop. And then we have the buttered up steak. The instructions are all on here. So we're gonna see how this kind of pans out. And it has all the ingredients. Oh, wine club. Hmm, not gonna do that today and then starting strong. So this is everything kind of laid out. These are all of my ingredients that I'm gonna need to make the Korean beef bibimbap. So I just finished the mise en place, which mise en place is just cutting up everything, kind of having it ready. But the rice is a cooking. And then this is my mise en place. So I have my carrots shredded, the zucchini, mushroom, scallion um, ginger and garlic all cut up and then leaving the cores of the carrots honestly the carrot shredding took me the longest now i am going to pickle the scallions and make a sauce and then we'll start cooking the veggies and then cooking the beef and then we'll pretty much be done so i will check in with you when the food is basically done <laughs> So here is the final product compared to the picture. I think I did pretty well. And we're gonna do a little taste test. See how I really feel about this. Let's see. It looks and smells delicious. I wanna get like a really good bite with everything on it. Mmm. That's really good. I like that. I can't believe I made Korean beef bibimbap. 
And it was really easy, minus the peeling of the carrots. That took me the longest. And I hated that, but this is tasty. Mm. All right, I'm gonna finish eating this now. Also, I wanna point out that it's the next day because I had that Korean beef bimbap last night. This is how much leftovers I have right now. That is a lot. And this container holds, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, on, let me try to focus it. Yeah, six cups. Meaning like half of that is rice and the other half is like the veggies and the meat. The servings for me, for one person, is a lot. And I know this is for two people, but I'm gonna be having like, I would say probably three more servings of this. So this will probably be my lunch and dinner today and probably my lunch tomorrow. We'll see. It's pretty nutritious, it's pretty healthy, and you can add as little or as much seasoning as you want. So you can make it as tasty or as bland as you want it to be, so I like that. But yeah, more thoughts will definitely be shared towards the end of this video, but so far, the fact that this was super easy to make, and I love Korean food, and I love Korean beef bimbap, like, I love it so much. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to make it and it's literally, sorry, thought I saw a spider on the ceiling and I was about to like drop this camera. But it's literally so cool that I'm able to make it and I can keep the card now and make it again and know that it's like not that intimidating. So yeah, that it's encouraging. HelloFresh is very encouraging. All right. Let's move on to the second meal that HelloFresh provided me, or I provided myself through HelloFresh. This is what we're making. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? The prep looks really easy. So all I have to do is kind of wash and dry all the produce. So I'm gonna do that. we have the bag. I'm gonna open it up. Green beans. Ooh, Italian parsley. It's cute. Wow. Okay. And then Dijon. Mustard? <laughs> it's like a weird way of saying mustard, but I said it. And some peeled garlic cloves. And five potatoes. Yukon gold potatoes. Look at these babies. <laughs> I sound so creepy. <laughs> also, the reason why I keep looking right is to make sure that I'm in focus. So apologies, still getting adjusted to everything. <laughs> and I dropped the potatoes. It's a good thing I'm washing these because they just fall on the floor. But it was really hard opening this garlic packaging. So we have the potatoes, the parsley, and the garlic, along with the green beans. So the next step is for us to toss the potatoes on one side of the baking sheet with a drizzle of oil and just salt and pepper. 
and then we're gonna roast on top rack until lightly brown for 10 to 12 minutes. And then we will add the green beans and then we will move on to making our steak. This is also a really simple, easy meal to make. Where does it say the oven goes? Oh, okay. It says preheat oven to 425 degrees. I was like, it's not saying it on here, but now I see it. It was in the first step, so obviously I did not read clearly enough. Gonna do that now. parsley and Dijon mustard and then whoops whoops forgot to turn off the timer and I also need to turn off the oven Ooh, man not doing me any favors all right so I'm going to do a taste test here I'm going to put a little bit of the little sauce that was made onto a piece of meat Try that. Damn, that's good. I can cook steak. Oh my gosh. And take some potato. Mmm. And obviously, green beans. Yep, I would say that's a success. That is a good, good meal. Boom. Anyways, so I thought I would come on here and tell you guys how the buttered up steak was. I had it for, I had it for lunch today and honestly, because I don't eat red meat a lot, there are parts of the meat that were pretty tender and kind of easy to chew through, but a lot of it was also like really chewy. And I guess I'm just not a huge fan of red meat. It's just not my thing. So there's that, but I'm going to make the next meal, which let me go get, I'm back. So the next meal is the, focus on me is the maple and rosemary pork cutlets with couscous and a creamy apple salad. Cool. So I have to, oh, this is, this is what it looks like. Boom. But I basically have to cook all of this, but I froze my pork cutlet. So I need to thaw this out first. That's the first thing. I'm gonna read the instructions carefully this time because if it's saying that I don't have to do certain things or whatever, I'd rather not um, waste time or waste food and do those things. So this is a little bag it comes in. We got some Nice rosemary, looks so cute. Some scallions, nice. Oh, maple syrup from Vermont, a dark color, robust taste, grade A. That's cool. Triple washed power four mixed greens blend. Cool. T 
to be honest, I've never had couscous. It looks kind of like quinoa, but smaller. Okay. And then we have the mayonnaise, which I'm very excited about that. And HelloFresh chicken. What the heck is that for? Oh, stock concentrate. Got it. And an apple and white wine vinegar. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I'm going to be having this for lunch tomorrow, I will probably hold off on making the salad um, tonight because I'm not having this food tonight. I'm having different food tonight. But I will cut up the apple and stuff. But I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. So this, this last meal is going to be like a two-parter. I'm going to make the couscous and the pork cutlet tonight. And then I'm going to pretty much combine everything tomorrow um, so that the salad doesn't kind of go to waste because you're supposed to like mix everything together. And because I'm only one person and I'm not two people, I don't want the salad to go bad because I mixed it with like mayonnaise and you know all the sauce so i want to maintain that freshness so i'm going to cook all this stuff tonight uh show you guys that process and then i will make the salad portion tomorrow for my dinner and give you guys like the taste test results of what i think of this meal but i mean i think i'm gonna love it you know but this is also red meat again, so it's like, or I guess not. It doesn't really look, it looks kind of like chicken, but pork is pork cutlet. I've never had pork cutlet, so I don't really, I don't know the, how this is going to go down, if it's going to be super chewy or not. But I will check in with you guys later when I start cooking this. Alrighty, so I have finished cutting the herbs, herbs, <laughs> the rosemary and the scallions, and my meat has finished thawing. We are now going to cook the couscous. Cook the couscous. Hopefully that was kind of cool. Cook the couscous. Cook the couscous. Cook the couscous. Cook the couscous. So we're gonna cook this couscous, add scallion whites, and half chopped, half the chopped rosemary, and cook until fragrant. Ooh! Also, when I was cutting that rosemary just now, it was hella fragrant. And also, when I was cutting the green part of the scallions, I started to water a little bit. All right, we're gonna do that now. We're gonna. Did it say to add water? I mean oil okay we're gonna add some oil so I'm gonna do that now I'm just I'm not gonna show the portions of me like cooking the meat I'm only gonna show the meat once it's like done because some people find looking at meat cooking really gross <laughs> and I don't want people to be grossed out looking at my videos so this is a fun video. Anyways, so I'll come back at you when the couscous and the pork cutlets are done. And then tomorrow we will do the taste test because that is when I will eat this food is tomorrow for some dinner. <laughs> and then we'll kind of do some final thoughts on what I think of... HelloFresh 
and their meal service food service thing food food service subscription so oh, of course of course you go out of focus because you're like this girl's acting crazy so i'm gonna do a little taste test of the pork cutlet Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That's a banger. Mm. With the couscous? But damn, that maple syrup slaps. Wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe. I can't even. I have no words. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow for when I eat all of this stuff together. I know. Daylight sucks, but you know. I mean, I'm sure that salad's going to be good. It's just. But damn, I'm really looking forward to that for dinner tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Here is the meal, finished and ready with the salad. And compared to the picture, I would say I did a really good job. For you guys, gonna have the pork cutlet. Mmm. Went to couscous. Damn, that's good. And then the salad, it just comes in like in the mixed green bag. A little mixed green bag. And then you put the apples, mayonnaise, and some salt and pepper. Hmm. I know mayonnaise can be used in some salad dressings, but I've never thought to use it as just the main thing. But that's actually a really, hmm. That's a really good salad. I am very pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh. That is so good. So you guys have seen me try all three meals and I will give you first the positives. Well, no, I will start out with the negatives and then kind of end with positives because I feel like I don't want to end things on a bad note. <laughs> I can't have cheese. I can't have the sour cream. I can't have the creamy pastas. And a lot of the meals kind of had those in it. So that kind of took off a point for me there in terms of my satisfaction with it, along with the fact that you get charged immediately for like right after you choose um, your meal amount and your person amount because you have to enter your card information immediately after entering your code. So that was kind of like a bummer for me, but I was just like, well, for two people, three meals on that little eight free meal discount code, I ended up paying like $23.76, I believe is what it was. Um, so it wasn't, in terms of cost, that was great. Like that was perfect. But other than that, like, you know, the fact that I was charged immediately and I'm like, well, what happens if I didn't, if I didn't see any food that really catered to my needs, then I would have wanted to cancel and I couldn't. So I tried figuring out a way to cancel, but my order already went through. And so I had to just choose the meals. And those three meals were the only ones that weren't like heavy in the dairy department, meaning that it didn't have like a creamy pasta or a lot of cheese added kind of mixed in. Granted, I know that because I'm the one who's cooking these meals and I can also go to the grocery store and kind of add in like 
the vegan version of cheese for myself or dairy free version of cheese myself. Um, I know I could do that, but that's not the point. I feel like if you're getting a meal service, you should have everything that you need without having to make all those extra modifications um, just because you might have an allergy. So I feel like with the lactose intolerance that could be worked on with HelloFresh, but as far as I'm concerned, that was kind of like my only negative, which was kind of like that initial experience of going on the website, realizing eight free meals is not really a thing. Um, you're not paying for shipping and handling, you're just, you're just paying for those meals. And they kind of tell you the prices for each of these things, each of the meals on the website. So you can kind of know like, oh, that meal would cost $5.99, that meal would cost $6.99. So the, the meals are not a set price all around. It's more of like, depending on what you choose, they could be a higher price meal or not. Um, I would say, yeah, that was kind of like the negatives. If they ever watch this video, I really hope you guys um, kind of consider lactose intolerant people like myself or even vegans, because I mean, we also need to eat. I'm not vegan, but um, yeah, just I thought, I think that could be something that could be worked on. Um, now let's get into the positives because I don't want to be negative Nancy over here. The positives were that each meal that it kind of shows you on the website, it kind of tells you the level of difficulty and which I think is great. So if you're a beginner or not great at cooking, they have easy to follow recipes. All the recipes that I chose were like level one. On the website when you're choosing the meal, it will tell you like the level it is. And I think level one is like the easiest and then it kind of goes up in terms of like expertise. But looking at all my meal choices here, I would say the maple rosemary one is probably a level one just because the like there wasn't a lot of steps to it. And also in the detail of it, it's pretty simple. Along with the buttered up steak, I would say this is also a level one. I'm just assuming, but I'm pretty sure these two are. And the Korean beef bimbap, that one could be a level two. It could also just be a level one. So there's that. But I think something that I really liked was that, you know, if you're new to this or you're not able or you're just afraid of the kitchen, it really is Ease it like it makes it easy to kind of ease your way into cooking and not make it intimidating because cooking is not intimidating at least for me it's not I enjoy cooking it's easy for me to cook and all of this was relatively very easy easy to follow I would recommend that you read through the instructions thoroughly first before doing anything before doing any prep or do before doing any cleaning um, just read through it thoroughly, all of them at once, so you can kind of be prepared for what to do next and if you could skip out on things. Because it actually had suggestions for like the peeling of um, the potatoes on the buttered up steak. It was like, you don't have to peel them, it could save you time, but if you want to, you, like we suggest this, but also had in parentheses, you don't have to peel them. So I would say that is great. Um, another thing is that they provide a lot of ingredients, but there's also a few that they don't provide. So I would say the butter in a lot of these meals, they didn't provide the olive oil and the salt and pepper. And I believe that was it. Obviously you should have like the tools to cook everything because they're not gonna give you pots and pans. They're not gonna give you a cutting board, knives and stuff like that. They're just giving you the food and the exact portions for the main bits. But in terms of salt, pepper, oil, butter, they're assuming people typically have that in their home. So I would say that's pretty great. And they tell you that kind of upfront at, as you're choosing your meals of like, you know, all of this ingredients is provided, but these are not, but they are needed for the recipe. So I thought that was really great. One thing I forgot to mention is that the food is also really fresh. Like all the produce is, fresh foods, their whole nutritious ingredients. You're not gonna get like a lot of processed stuff. Like you had like the mayonnaise packets, um, the mustard, 
but generally they're really getting you to use a lot of fresh produce, which I think is a another positive. Also, the pictures are really easy to follow. It kind of tells you like in real good steps of like how to chop things, how to, um, you know, go about making the food. I would say the steps are relatively easy to follow. They're kind of summarized, but everything's pretty much dumbed down. I feel like if you chose something more difficult than the ones that I chose, then they would probably have more steps. Um, just because it requires more prep or yeah, it's just because of the difficulty, it probably just requires more. But yeah, that was a positive and the food was bomb. Like it was really good. I would say my favorite one was the maple and rosemary um, pork cutlets. In terms of flavor, that was the best. The Korean beef bibimbap was just cool to make because I love Korean food. And then the buttered up steak was great because it was really simple i would recommend this to you guys especially if you are family and you know this would end up being a little bit cheaper to just order through them instead of eating out all the time and it's pretty healthy like the food is very healthy the portions on some things are a little bit bigger for me um personally as one person but they also have low calorie um, meal options, which I think is great, but they can kind of fit every budget because as I said earlier, or if I didn't say this earlier, they tell you as you're choosing like your meals for the week, the price for them in like a little corner, I think it was the top right corner or, or bottom right corner, um, the price for the meals. So one meal could be $5.99, one meal could be $7.99. It kind of just depends but they'll let you know on the site. So everything's pretty kind of laid out there for you and you can cancel anytime, but you do have to remember to cancel because this is a subscription food box. So it could just automatically charge you or you could cancel it if you know you're not gonna be in town one week or if you're like, I don't need this for whatever. Um, and yeah, and then you can also deactivate your account and it'll be pretty easy. And then if you go to the My Menu, um, it'll have it'll provide like tracking information there for you. Or if you don't see it there, you can just call their um, uh, their service center, and they'll tell you the tracking number, so you can be able to track your food and see when it's delivered. Um, and they use USPS, I believe. So yeah. But other than that, I think HelloFresh is great. I would. Use them again if they had more options cater to people who are vegan or um, lactose intolerant, dairy free. Um, just because for me, I typically, it's not that I am vegan, but because I'm lactose intolerant, vegan typically caters to my needs of checking off the box of being lactose free foods. So for me, that's really, really helpful. So I feel like if they were to kind of go in that direction, I would definitely use this more but yeah i think it is really great i do recommend this i think everyone should try it at least once if you can afford to do it if you can't obviously skip it but it provides you the exact portions and what's cool is that you can keep all the cards which i loved and it gives you ideas on how to make things and i don't know i feel like it really can inspire you in the kitchen to kind of just be more daring and take a little bit more risk and try out new things. So I really liked HelloFresh for that and I was like, okay, definitely need to start cooking with some fresher produce. And also the, the prep part where it's saying wash and dry all produce. I washed my produce, but I never dried it. And now I'm like, okay, I'm into the drying part because I see the, the necessity for it when cooking. Um, it's very helpful. And then also eating couscous, I've always wanted to try it but now I know it's freaking bomb. It's amazing, it's so good. Um, but yeah, it just gives you so many ideas and makes things not as scary um, as they seem for you. So when you go into the kitchen, you can easily make this and hold on to those little meal card sheets and do it over again because you did it once, you can do it again. But if you guys enjoyed any part of this video, I would ask that you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment on your thoughts on what you thought of the video um, and whether if you think that you're gonna you know, do a food subscription to HelloFresh. And I will say 
This is not a paid spart partnership. Like I was not sponsored. I was not paid to tell you guys this. Um, I bought this with my own money and did this on my own accord. And I shared with you the real negatives and the positives of this. And yeah, also the packaging, that was also another pa uh, positive before I go, is that it was recyclable. And so I really, really liked that. I loved that it was recyclable. Um, everything, the entire box. Uh, yeah, I thought that was great. So I think they're taking steps to be have a green, green thumb, which is really nice. And yeah, that definitely is a huge positive because packaging and all that stuff really contributes to a lot of waste. And it's just a way to be, I guess, a little bit more sustainable um, and, you know, kind of help the earth a little bit. So I really like that, that step towards it for sure. But yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.